California state leaders are looking at long-term ways to try to prevent transportation service cuts after ridership tanked during the pandemic and hasn't recovered. Our conference Justin Campbell has more now on today's meeting at the Bay Area Metro Center as state leaders uh, get involved and try to keep public transportation going. Justin? Yeah, that's right, Ken and Vicky. Simply the problem is there's just not enough riders right now on public transportation. Huge part of the Bay Area elected officials don't want transportation cuts despite facing millions of dollars in a funding gap. BART has only 50% of the riders compared to pre-pandemic levels. Government money stabilized BART and other Bay Area transit systems during the pandemic. But those dollars are running out. We see a fiscal cliff where ridership hasn't fully recovered and there are not other sources of revenue to compensate uh, for that continued loss. State Senator Scott Weiner says public transportation in the Bay Area is at a crossroads. Less riders and remote work have led to a a slow recovery to pay for public transportation. Senator Weiner says one idea he suggested was legislation he introduced to temporarily raise bridge tolls to pay for the gap. I hit the pause button on that bill. Senator Weiner and other transportation officials started a discussion on Monday at Bay Area Metro Center to discuss the problem and also heard from riders themselves. Very concerning as a transit rider, we're already seeing buses and trains crowded. Um, it's really good to hear the stories from the transit agencies about what they are doing to improve safety and cleanliness. Senator Weiner says if the physical cliff is not addressed by 2026, transportation cuts could happen. If we start seeing the unraveling of major transit systems, uh, we will all pay the price and reduce mobility, increase traffic, uh, working class and low income people being trapped and having no way to get around and completely tanking our climate goals. Elected officials today in that meeting are saying basically the time is now. You don't want to wait six months until 2024 until that deadline. That's why it's important that they discuss this topic right now. Live here in the studio, Justin Campbell. Back to you, Kid and Vicky.